What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for checking out another video. So in today's video, I have a medium skin fade and a crop on top. We're not actually gonna touch the top today, we're just gonna kind of shape them up and do the skin fade. So our first step, what we're gonna do, we're gonna come in with our FX trimmers here, and we're gonna set in our bald line just at the bottom of that vertical bar, keeping it as horizontal as possible and consistent as possible. Guys, please make sure to smash that subscribe button, it really does motivate me and keep me on track. Our next step here is to come with the full shaver and this is a great tool to add another transition to your fade this really gets the bottom of your hair right down to the skin just makes a nice uh, white surface on the bottom creates a nice gradient fade so make sure not to press too hard and just work out about an inch just below the line Our next step here is to come in with number two guard just to move some of that bulk. We don't really need to do this because he's a weekly client, but we're just gonna come square off of the head using our shoulder and our wrist to get that nice square movement. We're now gonna come in with our lever open and right here we're gonna set about an inch in width, keeping it as consistent as possible and making sure not to go too high. Don't be afraid to go over it a few amount of times just to get it as consistent as possible. So our next step here is to come with our one guard open and we're gonna work that just underneath where we left off with the two. Again, keeping it as consistent as possible. And right here, we're kind of flipping it out to set in no harsher lines. This is also called guard skipping. The reason why it's called guard skipping is because you do the one and a half and you miss out the one guard. So you do the 0 0.5, one and a half, and then you come in and close that lever for the one to blend it out and then close your clipper at the bottom to remove the bottom line. We're now going to come with our 1.5 guard open and close that guard just to kind of remove that bulk that you see at the top of the contour sort of area between the 1.5 and the 2. This is a great guard to kind of bring those two steps together. So our next step right now is to come with a slightly different one guard open just to kind of really finesse that connection between the 1.5 and the 2. And I like to use this guard because it's slightly bigger. Right, so now coming in with the lever closed here, this is to remove that bottom line. As you can see, that line comes out very, very easily. My clippers are zero gapped. If you guys do want to see a video on that, make sure to leave it in the comments below. Right, so now our next step is to come in and use our 0 0.5 guard or the zero guard if you're using the Anders clippers. This is really like a kind of detailing guard. This is right when you start to detail the fade and bring it to the next level. Right, so we're now going to come in and do our shape up. I like to set in just the corner just so I know how to mark out my vertical bar. 
We're going to come in and tap lightly on the hair. Don't want to bring the hairline up too high. And then we're going to come in and bring our, our clippers horizontal. This is horizontal right now, so we're going to bring it vertically. We're going to come do the vertical bar like you see right here. Don't push the hairline back in any way and just tap it and just get that nice, crispy, sharp hairline that everyone's after. Right, so this side's coming to the end now. We're just going to come in and do some scissor over comb. Doesn't matter what scissors you do use, whether it be thinning scissors or normal scissors. This is really where you refine the connection between the clipper work and the scissor work on top. And this really should bring this whole haircut together. Right, so I'm now moving on to the other side. The steps are the exact same on this side. If you do get a bit confused, just look down the bottom left corner, you'll see which guard I'm using. That fade is coming together so nicely. So we're right, going to come in and do our shape up on this side. We're coming in and just putting that vertical bar in. That sh that shape up is sharp. That fade is blurry. Guys, please make sure to smash that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. This is an absolute banger. We're now coming in, moving straight into the back. The steps are the exact same here. We're just going to come with a one guard open, and then we're coming by lever open. Then we're going to close that one guard, and then we're going to close the lever and just use the 1.5 guard, and you should have it all blended. Right, so now we're going to come in and do the full shape up. We're going to start in the middle here, and we're not going to bring his hairline up too high. We're going to work away from the middle and work away to the left and then to the right, keeping that as natural as possible while maintaining a nice sharp line. That fade is fire. Right now we're going to come in and just refine that shape up. We just want to get a nice sharp 90 degree corner in there, getting that as crispy as possible. Right, so now I'm going to come and do some beard work. I've taken it all down to a 1.5. And when it comes to fading the beard, it's the exact same as fading the hair. You're just fading downwards. So first of all, we're going to come with our lever open and then you can blend that out. And then we come with our one guard open and then you can blend that out. And then it should all be blended. Don't complicate things. It is much, much easier than you think.
we're now going to come in and use the blade. So you want to keep the blade at a 45 degree angle and pull the skin in the opposite direction. And don't, make sure not to go over the skin too many times because you can irritate the skin. Apply a little bit of talcum powder and the blade should, should glide smoothly across the skin. And I'm going to do this across the beard as well so you get a nice ash line when you go across the beard. Now coming in after the haircut's done, we're coming back and detailing. I can't stress enough how important this step is. Take a look away from the blend, look into the mirror and see any imperfections that you see and make sure to pinpoint those. Right guys, this is what he came in looking like. Let's not forget. Son, where'd you find this? And this is what he came out looking like. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, please make sure to smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, comment down below what content you want to see next, and I'll see you soon. Peace.